Well, Julie's got a fun and functional piece of wall art for us today. So, Julie, I love this dry erase board Isn't that you've that made cool? for a little All girl's room. It's like those, right? They can, and it's a dry erase, so they can write on it, pin pictures on it, whatever. So, we're going to start by cutting a piece of dry erase board. Now, this has a different service to the regular foam board. So, when you're cutting through, and I notice you're using a metal edged ruler, which I is important, am. right? And I'm also cutting on a mat, which is also very important. <laughs> Otherwise, so you your might table. need to go down twice. So, Julie, let me hand that to you okay. because we've done that part. Thank but you. let's look at the holographic because this is the sparkly. All little girls love sparkly. And I, I took think a big everyone piece. Everyone likes sparkly. They do. I took a big piece of the, uh, foam board and actually cut it in half. Now I'm going to decorate the edge with some washi tape. And there's lots of different designs to choose from. And But with this, being so sparkly. I have I a question, thought, Julie. Did this actually come like this or did you put this onto a piece of white foam board? No, it actually comes like this. It ah. comes in a big piece. And so for every piece, you can actually make two fantastic blingy bulletin boards. Now, when I put the mask, uh, Whoa, I'm calling you mean it this masking huge tape. Piece on, is half of how big it, it normally is, comes. It is. That's awesome. Well, then it's easy for a boy and a girl or for twins. Exactly. Or? You can make more than one, mm -hmm. which is really great. Now, when I put the washi tape on the edge of the board okay. here, I'm actually folding it over, which is going to cover up this edge. And if you don't get it perfectly straight the first time, as you know, it's repositionable. Right, because so all washi tape, right, is sort of made as a pa transparent paper tape that has repositionable adhesive and on it. And this has a beautiful design on it. it so does. now we've got our background board. Now, Julie, if you would like to hand me the uh, dry will. erase board again, because this is going to go in the center. I've actually cut this five inches shorter right. on, uh, on each side. So this is so the one that we exactly. cut before, but you've just already started exactly. with a little I bit of washi tape on the edge. It. And we're going to, this is for a little girl. This will be for my granddaughter. Now, I'm not going to overlap it this time. I'm just going to place it right uh, on the so edge. So you get a wider so it's border. Aligned. And we'll just tuck that underneath. And again, we'll just go ahead and tear it like that. You know, the tape does make it so easy. There you don't we have to worry about adhesive right. or anything. Now, I wanted to jazz it up just a little bit more. So I'm going to use a uh, paint marker and I'm going to put a line right on the inside edge of the tape here. Now, I, told, I know that you told me that you primed the paint marker, but what, what does that mean? Well, when you get the uh, paint marker, obviously the first thing that you're going to do is to shake it, to mix it up before you even take the cellophane cover off. Take the cover off and then you just pump it up and down a couple of times. Make sure you do it on a scrap mm -hmm. piece of paper and then the color is going to appear within just a couple of seconds. Very and these easy. come in lots of different colors too. So we'll just do one side, Julie. Now, as I said, little girls especially, they love that bling. You know, although you might want to adhere it, I'm thinking, to this first or it's going to smear when we flip it over, right? You know what? That's a really good point. That's why it's so important to craft with a friend. Always. I got your back. Oh, you got my back. I think probably every which way. So I've already got a little bit of double-sided tape on here. We'll just put one piece on for right okay. now. Okay. On the top. And then I will put one on the bottom because we don't want it to move around on us. But you know, this is so lightweight, you really do not need a lot of adhesive to get it to stick together. And But you know what, Julie? This is very, very aggressive. You'd be, you'd be surprised. I've actually used it to um, glue heavy things mm, together. I like an aggressive then, adhesive. And you know what? Since you mentioned the fact that when we put the glue on, if we turn it over, mm -hmm. it's going to smear. Let's put the ribbon on the back first. Oh, and I have got some fabric glue there for the ribbon. I'll open that up for you. And we'll put this on. Let me see. And we're just going to glue the ends in place because we've got to have a way to hang up our bulletin board, right? It's true. And this makes it very easy, again, to customize. If you have a little girl who loves ponies or flowers, you could use ribbon like that. You could even oh, do a ribbon that had the little girl's name on it, just whatever, whatever you need. Whatever. Because there's so many different patterns in ribbon. And we'll just kind of, I'm just going to eyeball it there. You can use whatever length of ribbon you I want. I do like there just eyeballing go. it. Measurements make there me tired. Go. And that glue for the fabric is going to soak into the fabric Excellent. and also adhere to well, the paper back. Let's get some glitter on there because I right. know every little girl so likes some bling. And we'll just start down here at this corner and I'm just going to squeeze out this glitter and if you'll notice there's silver and pink in here. Right and it's got that tiny applicator tip and that I'm makes just gonna it make so these easy. Little random dots. There's no rhyme or reason. You just put them wherever you like and you'd go all the way 
around the table. I love this idea, top. and I could imagine cool. having a board, a whiteboard, just for myself too. Thanks so much, Julie. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>